You either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. That's definitely the line that speaks to me when I see this episode of Naruto Shippuden. And now the giant reveal is here. The thing that made people in the manga and the anime rack their brains for years on end has finally been thrown out the bag. The cat's out the bag on who Toby is. I can finally say it in an anime video. Toby is Obito Uchiha. Now, first of all, with this episode, I want to talk about a couple different things. First of all, the pacing of this episode, they actually, like, smashed together quite a bit of material. I thought it was just going to end off with, like, oh, shit, that's Obito, but they actually combined uh, the end of another chapter when Madara shows up. They had, like, a bunch of different things going on in this episode. They even gave the reasoning. Now, the reasoning is definitely one of the most controversial things because it's like, yeah, the actual reveal was one of the most controversial things as well but then when he says the reasoning and while you can argue that that's not the entire reason what he mainly meant because kakashi asked him a question kakashi said what why did it take you all this time to show up if you've been alive all this time and he was answering that question well it took me all this time because you let rin die but as things go on, you will get to learn more about Obito and who he is nowadays. I really like the way they mash things together as far as like having some of Kakashi guided in there for some of the people that kind of forgot about Obito and don't remember all the events of what happened back when he, he was on Kakashi's team. It kind of like went together a little bit more as far as like, okay, it's giving me a little bit more of an understanding. I was wishing they would have added dialogue to the part where they were, you know, showing the flashback of, like, when they were in the academy and in the tuning exam, because in the manga, that didn't have dialogue, and kind of worked a little bit better in the manga, because it's, like, manga, whatever, okay, it looks nice drawing, nice drawing. In the anime, while it was, like, cool, I wish they would have just, like, added more, like, to be honest with you, I wish they would have taken that part out, uh, and then added at a later time with actual, like, maybe just dialogue and filler it up a little bit so that it could have been a more cohesive type of a story in a sense but overall I, I guess the way they did it it was like wow you know really good pacing now as far as animation goes the beginning of the episode had really beautiful animation where naruto was like charging in you know smash the mask and then even the flashback all that stuff had really good animation it wasn't until the actual mask came off that the animation wasn't all that and also i want to talk about the voicing uh first of all it seems as though they definitely wanted to switch up voicing because kakashi as a kid is no longer voice acted by the adult Kakashi. I, I, in my opinion, for me, as a, you know, I'm not a fluent Japanese speaker, it worked fine and I actually preferred having Kakashi voicing little Kakashi, but they actually, I guess maybe in Japanese, maybe for people that know it, maybe it sounds ridiculous. I don't know. Uh, so they definitely got rid of that idea and now from now on they always have a, a woman voice acting for Kakashi. If I'm correct, maybe I'm mistaken, but I think they also recasted Kid Obito as well. Again, maybe I'm mistaken. And also, when the mask comes off, all of a sudden Obito's voice sounds different. I don't know if they switched the voice actor. I, I guess it would make more sense because it sounds kind of, you know, different from who Madara is with that voice. Because at first they had the same voice actor, but I guess since they don't want to confuse people like, whoa, why the fuck they sound exactly the same, they slightly switched in. I guess maybe that was Obito, you know, deepening his pitch a little bit so he could change things up. I mean, it's not far-fetched for him to do something like that when he was acting like a nut job as Toby, like, oh, well, you know, going crazy. So it would make sense for him to switch things up uh, vocally because you know he's been known to do that and just the way they put everything together it was more so them trying to just throw it all out there you know what this is who he is this is why he did it this is one of his accomplices you'll get more next episode and i guess pacing wise they're doing a great job they're doing a really great job of uh, putting the pacing together and moving really fast and it's like okay we're not going to drag these things out and they're trying their best to make up for some of the blunders in the manga i will say that to this day yeah the whole thing about him saying it's because he let red die is still controversial and it's still going to be hated by some loved by a few and you know it is what it is me personally i'm just kind of like whatever at this point like i experienced all this i've been discussing this for like the past year in the manga and i'm kind of over really just judging whether or not that's a valid argument or whatever the case may be at this point it's just like it is what it is i'm just enjoying the anime for what it is um and it's just bringing a different vibe to stuff and it's just really going a lot more fast paced and um at this point it's just like wow i just want to see how quick they're going to move and how they're going to do things and i'm liking what they're doing so far i feel as though studio period is definitely trying their best to 
make up for some of the stuff the manga lacked and just like add things together. And really, they're doing a great job pacing wise. And it was just interesting the way they ended the episode rather than what I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be the revelation at the end, but instead they were like, no, we're going to put Obito and Madara. So you got a lot of content in this episode. And that's definitely a good thing. Overall, I felt it was definitely a, a really crazy episode. It advanced everything in and it gave you shocking revelations. Whether you want to say, you know what, I absolutely hate what he just said. It's because you let Ren die or you want to say otherwise. It's like, it's whatever. For me, I, I, I feel as though progression wise and just moving the story along, it did an immense job. And for me personally, that's uh, great in and of itself. Now, again, I'm not really judging the whole thing because I'm at this point, I'm <laughs> kind of sick and tired of judging the, it's because you let Ren die because yeah, as the story progresses, you will get more and more of it. So I, I'll leave it at that. I felt as though it was great in the progression aspect. As, and as far as animation goes, it was for the most part amazing as well. And also the voice acting was definitely interesting as how they changed things up because I never really see that for the most part. Like, wow, the mask came off. So his voice is kind of different, but still nonetheless, I felt as though progression wise, it was great. And it was just a, uh, enjoyment and a treat for me to see all that content really just going through quickly and I just kind of had a blast of just kicking back and enjoying and not really thinking and I really don't want to get back into this whole mode of wow you know this is the valid reason this is the valid reason use your own imagination and also just I guess for anime only viewers I've been waiting this long and you haven't been spoiled what did you think about this episode what did you think about the revelation what did you think about the pacing for manga readers what did you think about the pacing as well and just overall everyone's opinion I guess for the final time on this, because after this point, we don't have anything else to revisit this material unless you want to go back and rewatch it. What are you guys' final take on this? Do you still hate it if you are a manga reader? Anime only viewers, do you hate it? Do you love it? Me personally, I just enjoyed it for what it was because I've already experienced this material. And yeah, uh, that's all I'm going to have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for going through a lot of this material really quick because I could definitely see us having to do some filler at some given point because they're going really, really quick. And yeah, um, I'm for that world. And as always, people, have an awesome day. And like I said, you either die the hero or live long enough to become the villain yourself.